This video is not for the sensitive hoes. The ones who can't take anyone else's opinions except for their own. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Now remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to nanny port to Nina's raw view. In 3, A2, A1. Street Fighter 6. New Challenger. Jason Momoa. We got Buzz Cut Jason. Jackson 5 Jason. And even Reggae Mon Jason. Don't you know? And even Jason with boobs. But we know how you really want to see Jason Mamoa. Hmm. What? <coughs> Yoga. Calm. What? What? You got too much energy of anger. Let me show you how to relax. Now do this. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, man! I can smell my feet. Uh. New challenger! What a year! Oh yes! Tyler Perry presents Badir goes to Street Fighter! Hello! What in Jesus' name am I doing in a bra? Hello! Now it's hot as hell over here in Mexico. I wonder if they got a tasty penny over here in Mexico. <laughs> now, now, who badass little girl with this over here in Mexico? Hey kid! Now, now, Fantasia Burrito, I don't want no problems. Look here, little girl. Little man, little girl, whatever you are. I don't want no problems. Now, if anybody wanna hit the kids, it's gonna be my dear. Hello? Stay back, little girl. I got this. Hello? So let's get ready to kick some butt with Jason Momoa and my dear in Street Fighter 6! I, I want y'all to know that y'all just came to my Ravil, I thought y'all should know. Did y'all think that y'all came to my Ravil? I hated to bother all of you in the middle of vinegar. But when y'all came to my channel and you press the button, you chose to smell my vinegar. Cause the day that you came to my rob and you pressed the button and you watched on YouTube and you tried to run my life. <laughs> hey guys, how are you? It is Pierre, aka Nina, Bonina, Banana, Bavana, Osama, Bin Laden, Brown, and we are back for another raw view of All Stars 8. And I told y'all last time, this is a warning, keep a condom on during the raw view because I am not trying to get sued for STDs. But anyway, y'all piggies, y'all know how we do here. Piggies, P-I-G is great. You know, come here, share your opinions. We value your opinions. Just know how to keep it cute, though, and you won't get blocked or chopped immediately. Let me show y'all my outfit. It's very summer. It's very summer, summer, summer time. You know, I've been into showing my legs lately. Boing, boing, boing. My legs are so into voguing right now. I'm so into voguing right now. Oh, and sitting in the bottom pose. Can I do it up here? Uh, uh, no, I can't. Uh, I can't. Uh. But anyway, I know. I bought this outfit. It's it's one of those outfits that come from um from Primark, which you know they have some really cute stuff for cheap. You can tell why it's cheap because it's kind of cheaply made, but it's still really cute. I love it. As always, we're gonna read people. I mean, read tips, read comments, and then read people. So instead, I'll bottle you in the middle of mustard. Cause I ran out of vinegar. <laughs> Does she speak eloquently? Will she have your baby? God, I know all of y'all been keeping up with that dang submarine thing. I'm like, girl, like you have no choice but to know about it. They keep throwing it in your face, you know? And I'm like, first off, rest in peace to everybody on board, you know? But like, you know, like some people were saying like, I think they said that some people had just drowned, like not in this USA, but like somewhere and like nobody really paid any attention because they're not rich. But like, that's been a thing online, right? People have been like, 
you can tell everybody who's poor. Because <laughs> no shade. I get it, but like, it's a lot of just people in the comment section sounding really bitter because like those people were rich. And I get it. I'm mad too. I wish I, wish I was a billionaire. But everybody's like, well, they got money. They rich anyway. Oh, well. I'm like, dang. Like, just no remorse for any kind of human life at all. Like, yes, they were rich. They knew better. They signed their lives away. They did. But, you know, it still could show a little bit of compassion. Just a little bit of compassion. <laughs> Girl, I cannot. But the way, you know, they're saying, like, what could have happened, like, that, you know, it imploded. Hopefully that means it was quick. But in my mind, I'm like, I just, like, can't picture it. Like, these humans just all just, like, based like a toothpaste. Anyway, that is just crazy. Like, I know that the Titanic is, like, a mysterious thing. That seems cool, you know, and people have like conspiracies on conspiracies on, a, on the Titanic, why they don't want to lift it up because allegedly people say that it was like brought down by a torpedo because of that JP Morgan guy and he wanted to do some kind of bank stuff and people that were on the ship didn't want to do that and so he kind of got rid of them. That's like a whole conspiracy thing. And so just in general, that whole thing is just kind of like in a way cursed, you know, all the people that lost their lives that day. So it's like some people think like, why are you messing with like their gravesite? You know, and the fact that they named um, it Titan, uh, Titan or something like that was already like, what? <laughs> and then I heard that one of the guys, let's see, can I find the comment? One of the people on board, uh, Stockton Rush, I guess that's one of the people on there. His wife is the great, great granddaughter of Isidore and Ida Strauss, who both died on the Titanic. So the fact that the guy that passed away, his wife, relatives passed away on the titanic allegedly so i'm like that's weird and it also it's alleged that i i, I just heard it today that they the people aboard like the mothership that a, a stress signal was sent to them that said mission abort that's what i've heard today like, like that that was actually said like somebody from in the submarine did say mission abort but i don't know whatever happened after that they didn't abort the mission and so, and come to find out, we are thinking they probably, you know, perished within that hour and 45 time frame that same day. But it was led on and dragged on for days. Would y'all go on a submarine to go see Titanic? Like, even if, like, they said it had the best, the best equipment and things, would y'all go on there? Would y'all, like, go? Like, would y'all go to go see it? You know, a part of me, I, I'm into that crazy, mysterious, dark kind of stuff. But I don't know. I don't like the water, period. I can't even swim, you know, like, so just and somebody posted this video. I'm going to show it. I'm going to show it here. video of like um a cartoon animated thing of the ship going down all these different feet and just watching this little cartoon thing i felt like anxiety like ooh, and like the fact that like once it got past like eleven thousand, you didn't see any more like signs of like life like you know and just in the fact just him drawing like the squid the giant squid and the giant whales as it went down and then when it got to like 12 or 13 it was just darkness no pictures at all no kind of animals at all which that doesn't mean that there's nothing down there that we just can't see right but I just, that's just creepy like just going down there into that complete darkness is just scary 
and the fact that they were controlling it with the Xbox controller. Like, I probably would have signed on to have a PS5 controller at least, girl. Not an Xbox. Thank you, Yuki Jackson. Thank you, Johnny Otero. Thank you so much. I show, I show shank you. I show shank you for that tip. I shank you. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you, Amanda Oaks. Thank you, J-Star. You're my star. Start the wondering how you shine. Oh, thank you for that good tip, Taronda. That was for like probably the gaming and all that. We had fun. Thank you, Yolanda Jernigan Boo. Thank you, Elizabeth. I think this is old. I can't remember if it's old or new, but thank you, Elizabeth Kirschenbaum. Thank you. Oh no, it's old. Wait, I think it's old. Thank you, Crystal Faulkner. Faulkner. Thank you, Cameron Smith. Thank you, Albert Veliquaz, as always. Thank you, Autumn Brown. Girl, don't change your last name, because I don't know you. You ain't no kin to me. You are, you are not one of the Browns, okay? You may be kin to Mr. Brown from Tyler, from Tyler Perry, but you ain't kin to Nina Brown. Oh, cool. Thank you, Richard Matchman, as always. Thank you, Teresa Love. Thank you, Quilvo Rodriguez. Is that you in that picture pointing your toes to the sky? Okay, he's a ballerina, but y'all be having some rough feet though. But I get it cause y'all dance hard on y'all toes, but the, but, but the feet still rough. The toes are still gnarled up, but they still cute though because y'all ballerina. So there's, an, there, there's a reason for your toes being gnarled up. Thank you, Donna Manuel. Thank you, Carlo Meja. Thank you, Gal Moses. Thank you, Christopher Hill for that big tip. What did you say in here? You said, you are the most entertaining black person to make it out of slavery and a funny person on the internet. Your Matrix skit is my favorite one you've ever done. And I'm so grateful for all of your videos. And I long for the day we have a 24 seven Nina live stream because I need it. Maybe one day I'll be on TV, who knows? For like my own like hit sitcom show. My own, my, my own like, I don't know, like kind of mad TV kind of show. Thank you, Carlos Alva, as always. Thank you, Diani Hrata Afaro. Now, I should have been, hands down, been the MUA for Ursula. No, ma'am, mama. Girl, Disney hired her. They hired girl. She killed Ursula. You saw the makeup. <laughs> Thank you, on uh, Michael Mentors. Thank you, Eric Dissing, for the good tip for that Metro PCS. I don't get it. How? So you're on a Metro PCS, but you can afford to tip me this much, this much money? Well, thank you. Man, thank you, Ryan's story, for being the lesbian that nobody asked for. Not boing, 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 boing. <laughs> thank you, Annabelle M. Niaz Oyola. Thank you, Cassandra Alohi Aloka. Thank you, guys. Those are some wonderful tips. All of y'all got paid again. Y'all went out and prostituted. Thank you so much for prostituting for me. I, I, I really admire y'all for that, for putting y'all's body at risk, you know. It means a lot to me. And if you like the tip and all that stuff, all the information is in the description box down below. If you want to join the Twitch with us and be able to chill, watch movies, watch Raw View and Drat Race in real time, you know, subscribe to my Twitch. It's $5. Um, it's not free. Okay. Re comments. Rewatching season nine for the first time with my roommates who had never seen the show. And I'm just in awe of the gaslightery and tomfoolery that went on towards you. I knew what happened with the girls, but it was clearly perpetuated <laughs> by the judges. They would never behave that way nowadays. Well, you know, yeah, nowadays things are different. Like people can go on there and I guess be emotional or have doubt, self-doubt, but also have doubt towards how they're being treated on the show. And people are like, pity party, oh, I feel so sad. But when I was, you know, in my feelings or keeping to myself, you know, people made it such a big deal and was saying that I was such a negative person, you know, because I kept to myself. And, t and in the eyes of the girls there, that's like negative. Like, oh, you, you know, you know, for example, like when I would win a lip sync, whatever, and I wasn't coming in the back celebrating. They're like, how do you feel? I'm like, well, I don't feel good about it. And they're like, oh, here she goes. Like. Dang, should I be jumping for joy? Like, if I did that, then y'all be like, I'm cocked. You know, stuff like that. So, or the judges, you know, making you feel like you're in your head when you're actually just aware and you're calling out things. You know, that's how it was. So, 
Thank you for noticing that. Somebody said they mentioned they voted for James to spite the producers because they could tell they were gunning for Kahana, which honestly is kind of noble. Not noble. <laughs> I haven't liked any of Jessica's looks this season. I feel like she's skating by, doing the bare minimal, and they keep praising her like she's doing something so unique. Same for Candy, too. She's worn the same silhouette how many times now? But they got on James about wearing the mermaid cut. Make it make sense. Well, you know, about Jessica, I think there may have been a few moments where it feels like they kind of maybe could have overpraised something. But I think out of the girls, she's been doing good. She has been doing a good job. Um, yeah, and right, it's like they got on James for something about the same silhouette, but yet Candy wore the same kind of thing forever. It's like they pick and choose. Like y'all all know that. It may be fun experience, but I'm sure it's also traumatic, anxiety inducing and stressful. And they know that. I feel a bit like Rue was gaslighting there and one moment they are trying to break queens down, get them to talk about trauma, and then she's pretending it's all sunshine and rainbows. They're talking about when Ru RuPaul came in the room was like getting the girls together. Right. It's like she only came in there because somebody already left, which was Heidi, and they couldn't afford that again because then who would have went home? So it was like she may mean some good, but I truly believe that most of it is just like, uh-uh, y'all messing my TV show up. Okay, like y'all messing up how it's supposed to go. Like, like I, that's what I think. I don't think it's really about sisterhood. It's like, no, like y'all messing up my show. That's what I truly do believe. It's so funny to me how Alexis was saying that if we look by track record, Kahana should go home because her track record is better. But in the beginning of the episode, she said that what we made, what made the difference for her is that Kahana had a win. Like, girl, stop. So fake. You were also with two bottoms and no wins this week, but all of a sudden you think that you deserve to stay because your track record is better. Oh, and all of a sudden, it's okay for Kenny to vote for her friend off. Just say the truth that you either don't like James or that she was a threat. Otherwise, you just look fake when you vote differently this week for someone with the same kind of track record and the same defeated attitude like last week, which I totally understand, but then it just makes more sense to vote her off. Exactly. Right. See, when it's on them, then it's the other way around. <laughs> Apparently, there's a rumor that production paid for all of Kahana's looks to promote Drag Race Vegas and after this episode, her about to leave the competition and Rue stopping her and her not caring about the fame games by starting drama on Twitter and almost quitting make it, almost makes it seem real. I don't know how real that is, but I know that I've heard that all the girls there got some, a little bit of money from Drag Race to like get costumes and things, so. It's awful seeing all these queens want to quit, cry, feel drained, like I feel bad for them. This season definitely had more sensitive spirited queens that just don't handle TV as well as other queens. Which isn't bad. I just feel like Drag Race is too fake and too much pressure for genuine people to be on. There needs to be some other platform besides Drag Race that queens can show their art on. Because clearly this format ain't working no more. I get what you're saying. I do. Like, that's why, like, you know, if there was any kind of rekindling, even though I still don't know what the breaking thing is on their end towards me, but I know what mine is towards them. But if there was any kind of rekindling with me and them people... I would rather do something like a drag race, Christmas special, Halloween special, that's not so serious. You know, that's like not all that stress. It's like having fun, going there, but like it isn't that serious. You know, so yeah. I thought this part was funny. She's like, when Rue stopped Carson mid critique and said she doesn't care that Candy's being herself in every character, and then Candy laughed like a gremlin, <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, Rue knows exactly what she's doing. She's not even hiding it anymore. <laughs> Not laugh like a, gr a gremlin. <laughs> oh, it's about the culture appropriation thing. Only in the US or UK, culture appropriation is such a big issue. Meanwhile, the rest of the world is sharing and appreciating everyone's cultural lifestyle. Well, oh, a Jack moment. What I do. Read before hitting me up. 10.5 uncut, big, ah, di, and fat, ah. Here looking for nasty, kinky freaks who ready to get straight nasty. I love a in with a hairy bum hole. For real, for real. Dudes here down with farts in S. Love eating a bum hole while it's full of solid turds only. Leave your feelings at the door, bro. Have all ready before you hit me up, bro. Do not hit me up if you don't got an S now. Need dude who
who got a big dump ready. I'm visiting. What's good? I'm mostly oral. I eat eye and suck in very well. I like what I like. Respect that and we can be cool. So get at me if you have all that ready now. For real, for real. I'm mostly oral. I don't want to F. Angry profiles, I'm not interested in at all. Keep your BS and drama. As always, stay blessed. Because I am. A lot of you guys don't have nothing because you're too close-minded and judgmental. Verse here, bro. Me bumhole. Full of solid turds. Not interested in Ross at all. When you hit me up, make clear about what you have ready. And we... I'm judging you. <laughs> it's nothing about being closed-minded. Some of y'all just nasty. I'm sorry about it. I'm sorry about it. I'm sorry about it. Why do you want somebody to have solid turds in their long home? Just nasty. What happened? Some of y'all just weird. For real, for real. Sorry about it. Uh-uh. And he was black. See what the white man has passed down to the black man? It's more comments. Alexa should be ashamed for her behavior. It's infantile bull ass and crocodile tears. What really annoys me is Nina would just quietly go on with herself and but was labeled as moody and problematic. And Alexis was part of that. It's like the more drag race you watch, the more Nina is vindicated as a classy survivor. I'm a viva. I'm going to vacate. it. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to vacate. it. The moment I see or experience something from another culture, it becomes a part of my mind and thus part of my culture as well. Of course, we need to give credit where credit is due and not take it too far. But if people only stuck to what they knew and didn't learn from one another, then we would all still be stuck in our thumbs and wearing pampers. Well, I'm wearing pampers now, but whatever. I've spoken about cultural appropriation, but I feel it's all about virtue signaling. It ends up going back to, well, I'm not wearing it, so I'm better than you. Or yet tries to get, or yet again tries to give someone moral superiority, which is all the generation seems to care about. That's the truth. All these people who claim they're woke and so better than you claim because they're not allegedly doing it. Like I'm better than you. I'm telling you about yourself, so I'm better. Exactly. Somebody have a new song for RuPaul's theme song. RuPaul's mind game. Start your therapy. RuPaul's mind game. With a favorite, favorite win. Somebody says, I don't know, Georges was overhyped as an assassin, but to be honest, most of them are. I, you know, that is true. I'm not saying just Georges, but I'm saying, but in general, a lot of people are overhyping people as, as assassins, and, they, and they're, they're not even lip-syncing, they're just doing dance moves. It's like, but that's just how it is now. Everything is overhyped now. Dream catchers are from all America. You're an American, and you and everybody can use it. It's just a piece with a, with a nice design. I mean, it wasn't America, just saying. <laughs> Go Nina, Google Sudanese women in Sudan tube look and see what they wear. Don't let these uneducated people tell us what is Asian and what is African. Okay. Okay, my call my table. Well, on to the show. I gotta eat a lot of sandwiches off my own. Finally. What's wrong with a sandwich? Baloney. Uh, Kahala would have heard stuff that was actually from me. Really? <laughs> she about to start crying. I hated that. <laughs> they ain't Lala's pants tight. Girl. What is happening? Really? Yeah. Oh, really? He had that. Last night he went home to the hotel and planned it the whole night. This is going to be iconic. Jimbo and this nasty ass blonde. Oh, it's blonde. Why y'all touching it then? I can't. But my balloon ain't never smell like it before. Maybe. Ew, he had his peen through that one. <laughs> is RuPaul going to bed? I hope those not the, those not the pajamas that all those bearded wannabe butch guys wear. And it has the flap in the back. Oh, you know the flap. <laughs> you need to create an original outfit. Worthy. Something they have to sew something? Like a something that's worthy of Hall of Fame. Yeah, they're doing, they're doing a lot more sewing now on All Stars. Mm-mm. Gloves. Shea Coulee. Trinity the Tough. You're I want Shea's box so I can just throw it on fire. Ha! Take that! You Disney Marvel whore! Character for a character, honey. You get <laughs> Shea's <laughs> theme up. Yeah. Hey, that was cute. Lala did a good job choosing who get what. 
on because this is the top five. And if you want to stay in the competition, you have I would have a note in there. Make sure, I get, make sure I get all my shit back. Thank you. And this color palette is giving a lot of Stanky the Starfish. My name. Like, who would have thought about that? Stanky the Starfish. Nobody. <laughs> I got the one. Got, got, got the one to show that for no reason. Oh, <laughs> oh, Doug. Uh, Jessica. <laughs> I have a See, somebody would have been lucky to get my box. It would have been one piece of poster there and a little bit of paint. And they could have, that, that would have been easy. You got three more times to read me, girl. Three more times. Anyway, somebody said, and the fabric that I had where I drew an outline around somebody. <laughs> <laughs> now that I put in my note, I already drew the pattern for you. Just cut it out. Have that. It's expensive. Everyone has so much good stuff to work with. At least Jimbo's trying to make a sewing challenge episode decent. Because y'all know these be the most boring ones. I'm like, oh God. Let me just get to the runway. Body yeah. and decorate my face bikini with the shit in my box. I just noticed Alexis has his drag face all over his shirt. <laughs> I'm like, I just noticed that literally. I was in the bottom last week and I fast. Well, I was in the bottom last night and he didn't pull out until he hit the doodle bubble. With my gray glove. <laughs> I came with these drawings. <laughs> Here, mommy, what I was drawing. I was drawing my bunny look on my season, girl. I cannot. But I used to really, I'm telling y'all, I wish I could find or new. Or it's, I mean, they're all gone, but when I used to draw, like I'll tell y'all on, on a, another raw view, I used to draw like a bunch of fashion and everything. And I was getting good at it, but then I stopped for a while. Hi, queen! It's RuPaul! Ew. Raven, why are why your fupa so fat? What kind of fat, swollen fupa? Are your balls that big? What kind of watermelon cantaloupes? Oh, that side profile. Did you pad your coochie? Is the coochie padded? <laughs> why is it sticking out, mama? Don't answer. <laughs> right, uh, right, Cam. They're bringing Chanel for all stars because they keep showing her now. Works really well for you. So I guess the question then is, do you play? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Jessica was calling um, them legends, you know, Raven and um, Chanel. And somebody said, not legends, but some people are at home saying, who's that in the purple? <laughs> for real, for real. <laughs> anyway, that, is, that doesn't mean they're not a legend, but you know, some people are like, who the, who the heck is that? Because she looks so different. She really does. I've been doing really well. That would have made me send you home. <laughs> exactly. Y'all saying that y'all don't think James is a threat. So y'all don't think Alexis is a threat? I'm confused. Uh, and you have enough fabric to get in this box in case there's... Oh, you saying that, she, that that's not enough fabric for her, Raven? When will it end? Hello, fashion icon. So, not fashion icons. Then I won't sit, then I won't collars and all kinds of patterns and all this stuff. And you've done that. I wanted all those things too, but could I do it? Those pearls. It's crazy having these girls at your Jimbo's so extra. <laughs> <laughs> Candy, whenever you hook up with guys, do they ever slap your titties around? They love oh. <laughs> Cookie and sort of punch. <laughs> Somebody said, I love how Candy doesn't need a breastplate. <laughs> Just for the sake of getting rid of competition. If that camera don't come to the other side of Alexis and stop being messy. What about you? I was a little stressed before, but... That's all these episodes be, is just talking. That's all it is. It's nothing. Like, honestly, I can genuinely... I'm trying to have enough footage on Raw View and so that my beginning part isn't longer, but oh well. Like, it's like, there's nothing to talk about. Like, this is a waste of time. I literally can just go to the, to the runway. Like, that's why, like, whenever it gets to, like, these bottom few girls, the episode should be cut shorter. It really should be. It should be, like, a 45-minute show or something like that. Like, it's just... It's nothing. It's just like, okay. It's nothing at all. <laughs> just go to the runway. That I have Kylie Sonic box, and I remember in my seat forever. Well, with Kylie, you could just not really do anything. Just wrap on a little halter top, a little coochie cutter, and you're done. I'm just like, I'm going to freak out. I have big Which means she's going to do good. You like that sleeve? Yes. Really cool. Score. Jim will get him on nerve. Girl, she just she she just do everything. I can't stand her. Crunch. I'm not doing my makeup tomorrow, so if I run out of time, work oh. tomorrow. Well, you saw how Valentina looked when her mask came off. Do you really want that to happen? But then again, it may make you really famous, so <laughs> it did for her. I am 
I'm sewing this sequin fabric, which is breaking all of my needles. Well, you could tell the pattern was gonna be a mess anyway. The pattern does not look good on my body. It doesn't look that bad, though. One in here is exhausted. We are like walking zombies. But oh, gosh. How are they ever going to get to the runway? Left to do on this outfit, and I am really nervous. I have to... I hate when they do this. Like, he's going to do a good job. The outfit's going to come out great. Like, come on. What we signed up for, and we, you know... And Who that light-skinned man coming outside of Lala's face? I'm grateful for the rest of my life. I will never forget this. No, I'm happy. Yeah, she's going to turn her back on her. <laughs> Honey, find you somebody who can do both. Okay, you see him giving black Ken and she's giving black Barbie, but only they didn't put me in the movie because Lady Gaga chose Shangela talking about, but she called me a star on star on, on, on my season, but she gonna put Shangela in the stars born. Sorry, I got kind of sidetracked just now. But anyway, it's time for Beauty and Looks with Nina Bonina Brown. Come here, come here. Who's that little cute guy with the dimples and the funky big toe? Look at that little cute white man with the big toes. You so cute with your little dimples and your big white toe. And that's been Beauty and Looks with Nina Bonina Brown. Look at him, y'all. Look at his feet, feet. What? Did her hair get ran through a lawnmower? <laughs> I feel like these looks aren't really RuPaul. It's like Raven and them who she's working with. Um, it's like I could see it on somebody else or something. I don't know. And I almost think this is too thick for RuPaul. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause I remember like, she, she started patting more. I'm like, I kind of like when she's smaller, to be honest, for her. Because that's what I'm used to. But this is, I don't know. I'm not going to really, I'm a, I don't know. I don't like it that much. The hilarious draw snatch. I kind of like that blouse. Brandon Boy. What? Yes, something's not right with her body. And normally RuPaul's boobs are always kind of wonky. But it's like the part, I guess it's called the lat. The, whatever, the, whatever the part is, the lat or the, the, LA, the part that's like um, behind your arm, your back, that connects like to your armpit, whatever. That's really wide. And like, it's wide, right? And then her boobs are really small inside there. Like, normally you kind of want the boob to kind of like kind of come out more by the armpit and it's just like in there and then you see like this wide thing in the back maybe it's the corset or something i don't know oh yeah i'll be looking at everything girl my pussy's right. on fire <laughs> don't do that again <laughs> baby i look like an oil spill walking on the runway it is simple but it's not bad and it does look clean it does so i'm gonna have to rent this for her i don't mind her i don't blame her for doing simple though like if you know you can't do too much then just do what you can do. And I think the cut is in the right place. I still think that they be helping each other out or sweep it in the back, but they don't show all those parts. But um, it's clean, it's simple. I'm gonna rent it for her. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> See, she was so worried, but this is sickening. <laughs> this looks like some, I don't know, some creepy, like puppetry mannequin just walking through. This is sickening. I already knew it though. Like they're doing this whole drama. Oh my god, I'm so worried about time. But they do that all the time. You can already tell it's, it's gonna be good. I'm covering up this beautiful face. To deliver. But if she has the lip sync, then what? And I thought she, like she had a bodysuit too or something like that underneath. No. That was she, she remind me of like something from Sack Boy, <laughs> but really tall. But like this is like some Sack Boy character. <laughs> oh, hello, Tangerine Queen. Girl, I know, first of all, I know under this lighting, the makeup is caked on and and powdered and, and orange. Girl, like the dress isn't bad, but the wig, oh my God. Like, can somebody please build her a wig that fits her head? I mean, like, that, that's how, RuPaul, you, do you, RuPaul, do you see Lala right now? That's how you be looking some days walking down the runway, just like that. Your hairline way back there. Your hairline is still on the stage while you're walking forward. <laughs> That's what I be seeing when I see you walk down the runway. <laughs> Learn from her. <laughs> I cannot. I'm feeling glamorous. I feel like one of the pageant girls walking down the runway. Is that even her wig? Ooh. Acai. 
I'm not surprised with Alexa's doing good, but it like her wig going back too. But only because the hairline is lighter than the rest of the hair, but it's blended on really good. I mean, Alexa looks nice, like always. Like, it's like, this is cute. I'm going to rent this. Thank you. <laughs> I'm actually going to buy it. Like, it's not like I, would, I wouldn't wear it, but I'm going to buy it for her. You class, I'm looking elegant. And this, this is Jessica all the way. <laughs> it's her all the way, so I'm gonna rent it for her because it's Jessica. Like that, she would wear this anyway. Deliver just like Rodney Dangerfield. Do you know who that is? I told y'all before. Watch Ladybug, starring Rodney Dangerfield and Jack A. Harris. I feel like it closes you up a little bit. Also, the way this cuts your arm off is a big. So nothing about nothing about the wig. No. Okay. We were on last time. Yes. Then she smiled. She really is smiling hard today. <laughs> It's been such a joy watching you evolve as you have. Thank you. I don't see a difference. She's the same. I feel like she's the same as she was on our season, literally. Like, just, yeah, she has more polished stuff for today's time that we're living in. But, like, I think she's like, what What has changed? Like, what, <laughs> what more has changed? I, I don't see a difference of, like, um, I don't know, personality. Why? I, I, I mean, I don't get it. I don't know. Please, no more sewing challenges. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Congratulations. You're the top all star. Of I feel like they wanted Jimmo to win, but they know if they get him another win, bitch, if I'm right. Like, they, I, for real, Alexa should have won some other times that she should have won. It's, it's a few times she should have won before, but I really think that they wanted to give that win to Jimbo. Because honestly, I probably would have. Not that this isn't bad. That's not bad at all. But I think hers, just Jimbo's is more exciting and different. So I don't know. So, but I, yeah, I don't buy it. But, you know, but congratulations, Alexis. But I just feel a stunt. Kenny Muse, Lala Reed. Ah, oh, they did put Lala, sorry, Candy in the bottom. I can't believe it. Do I want to be in the bottom? Absolutely not. Well, Lala already said in the beginning, she already kind of clocked through already. Alexis, if she wins lip sync, she's sending Lala home. Even with all the, I won't send you home. We're sisters, girl. I want to sleep with you. She sent her home. <laughs> Touch the bottom. And we're about to go to the top four. And I'm gonna... What do you mean with Alexis win a lip sync? Did you not see her fabulous lip sync on Macho Man? Did you not see it? Because neither did I. Bottom two. I am agonizing over this decision. Oh, she's serious. She said, I'm about to win the lip sync, honey. Okay, you you saw how she walked towards that? <laughs> yeah. I remember the rumor that Nikki Doll's there. So Alexis is winning. Come on, y'all. But we but I think we all came to the agreement that it's not about assassins anymore. So we, we all know that. She she didn't put it on little weight too. Okay. And, and her, her her little thickness, mama. I hate this beat. <laughs> Unless it's all flat in the back. <laughs> That's giving pheromone too. That song, baby, I'm burning. And let pheromone doing her little white, her little white pageant girl little leg. <laughs> I call this the Fonka Doodle. The Fonka Doodle. Yeah. Take the shit move. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, they want Alexis to win. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, and Nikki Doll start, starting to look more like Morgan McMichael secretly. <laughs> <laughs> this is so stank to me. Like, this is a cute song, but it's just like the slow beat and then them just all flat booted and, and, and kicking. <laughs> Bitch. Now, dang, RuPaul was shook. Wow, Alexis, your bones still work. Dollars <laughs> calls for a split, but it's not a real split if the crotch isn't hitting the floor. <laughs> but she definitely can go lower than me. <laughs> oh gosh, you see that, Lala? She's showing what she will do behind you if you give her the chance. They're like, finally, they're moving. <laughs> it was kind of funky and stank, but Alexis did better. And I'm glad she did better because I want to see her say La La name because I know she is. Alexis Michelle, congratulations. You're a winner, baby. Yeah, she's really acting. 
I told y'all, Lala Re. I told y'all, girl, see, all that, oh, I got your back, and I want to die, da 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 I already said, I already knew, it's easy to clock, it's easy. Lala was trying to serve it up in the confessionals, like, I don't know what's going to happen, but I already knew, it's clockable. Uh-huh, you saved, I can't, y'all save her. <laughs> I think Alexis was more so worried about Candy whooping her behind and her fans, that, that, that was she's worried about. But honestly, out of Lala and Candy, I guess... Candy would make more sense, honestly, for real. Just for real, for real. I think so. Right. But the fame games have just begun. Well, we know she ain't winning that. <laughs> I really wish I would have sent her ass home when I had the chance to. But <laughs> See? They ain't prolonging this episode because normally they, they cut this part off ass. It's still going. I'm not surprised. I'm not gagging. Maybe by the smell. <laughs> What do y'all think about this episode? And do y'all do y'all are y'all surprised at who went home? Like, what do y'all think? Let me know down below. As always, thank you guys for watching another raw view, and I will see you for the next week. Stay beat, stay beautiful, but most importantly, stay blessed. Kima Cho or Kamochi. Bye. Well, I was curious. Like when I first got to the hotel, you were kind of smiling at me, and I wasn't sure. Like, I'm like, does he mess around? Only one way to find out. Oh, she don't say.